I, I believe that Vodafone, McLaren, Mercedes has got the best driver lineup in the world. Uh, we've got two uh, young drivers uh, that both happen to be British, but that's really coincidental. Uh, they are uh, people who have proven uh, that they can win world championships, they've proven in our team they can win races, uh, they've worked well together, and I think that's an asset to the team. So we don't envy any other team's driver lineup. We're very happy with what we've got, Lewis and Jensen. It's a formidable lineup of, of winners, uh, and but also great team players. So I think they enjoy working together. I believe they enjoy working in the team and we enjoy working with them. So we're looking forward to a really exciting season together. Within Vodafone, McLaren and Mercedes, we've got two very intelligent drivers and uh, I think for the engineers, for the whole team, to have the benefit of their input, to have them being involved and enthusiastic about the car. And I think you've been able to see that at, at the reveal in Berlin, that they really have a passion and enthusiasm for what this car is and for the championship ahead. So they both believe they can win a world championship in it. Uh, we think they can as well. Moving from 2010 to 2011, the, the double diffusers uh, were removed and a lot of constraints were placed on the cars with regard to their rear diffuser design. This is to contain the performance of the cars, effectively to slow them up because year on year, the designers working hard make them quicker and quicker. So that's been very challenging now for an area of the car which traditionally engineers have found a lot of performance to find that performance, to find those improvements in an area where the design is very restricted by these new regulations. Sat where I am, inevitably you're proud of various parts of the technical program. Overall, I'm, I'm proud of the team that have developed it because uh, you know, there's been a tremendous hard work. We had a fantastic championship campaign in 2010. We didn't quite get the job done you know, at the last race. We didn't quite win that championship. But the team is very, very focused on winning this year. And I'm most proud of them rather than particular features. Uh, inevitably, as this car uh, is developed, there will be uh, more surprises that are discovered. Uh, we don't tend to declare those surprises. We let our competitors find them uh, during the course of the season. F Formula One remains the third largest sporting spectacle in the world and there is really a fundamental fascination with our sport from the public and we're very grateful for that but we mustn't assume that that's always going to be the case. We mustn't be complacent. We need to engage with the fans, make sure that the sport is entertaining. It also has to be relevant. It also has in this day and age to be sustainable. So I'm very proud of some of the initiatives of FOTA launched the initiative on, on measuring the carbon footprint of our sport. We're, the, to my knowledge, still the only international sport in the world to have actually employed independent experts to review the carbon footprint, to undertake to continue to review and monitor and reduce that carbon footprint. I think that's important. I think we've got to demonstrate uh, that we mean to do that and we mean to do it very seriously.